today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPad 2 or iPhone 4S on 5.0 or 5.0.1 but I, to me really I think it's just better to have it on 5.0.1 unless you have an unlock and you don't want to lose that or something like that so just update to the latest version because eventually Apple's gonna release a new version according to the beta the 5.2.0 or whatever it is fixed the exploit for this to work and I'm also going to show you if you have problems with your phone freezing when you're doing abs in the if that's how you say it, I'm not sure how it is but it's by green poison I had problems with it saying beginning jailbreak this may take a while and I waited for like 30 minutes and it didn't work and then I even restored to factory settings and then did a backup and it still did that I'm going to show you how to fix that problem there and some other problems that you might encounter before we even get started on this, make sure you backed up your iPad 2 or iPhone on iTunes because if there's a problem where you have to do a factory restore or something like that, you'll lose all your stuff. So I have done that. Now I'm going to be showing you first off here what you need to do for if you've already had this problem with it freezing when it says beginning jailbreak, this may take a while. If you haven't tried just doing the normal jailbreak yet, you can skip this step. If it doesn't work and it freezes like I mentioned, you can come back and do this step. Like I said, if you're having this problem with it freezing, what you're going to do is restore to factory settings. Now, you either have to get the file from Apple, which it was going to take a lot longer to get it from there, so I found it on another site. I'll post all these files and stuff in the description too, so I'm going to hold shift. Click restore. Note too when you're restoring, if you get the file from somewhere else, if you did not have a problem with your SIM card reading, you're gonna download the 9A405 because there was actually a 9A406 and that's one that Apple gave to people that were having problems with their 4S's reading the SIM card. Now if you're on an iPad 2, you're obviously not gonna download this one. It's gonna be a different one. So I'm just gonna click this and just do the factory restore. It's gonna say iTunes where you erase and restore. Now this is going to eventually change up here if you see it says extracting software you're just going to have to wait here a second it says preparing iPhone for restore now as you see here it's resetting and this is going to take a little bit to restore and like I said before make sure you have your phone or iPad backed up before you do this because it will wipe out all your stuff after this restore is done I will come back and continue on now if you have a problem with restoring, which you shouldn't, make sure you downloaded the correct version or if you just got it from Apple, um, automatically it's going to give you the right version. Now that your phone or your iPad 2 is done restoring, you're going to have to go through these settings. Now the key thing here is to not restore from a backup first because that's what's causing the error. I have no idea why. When I did it, I was trying to do the longer version of the jailbreak before they actually released Abzina or Windows and you had to use command prompt and I got an error when I was trying to execute the payload so I don't know if that had anything to do with it. But we're gonna go here to United States, enable location services, continue. Okay now for here what you want to do is just do setup as new phone. Don't do restore from iCloud backup or from iTunes backup. And then just agree, agree, use Siri, doesn't matter. And don't do send because basically by clicking send you are sending crashes and stuff to Apple and that helps them make it so that you cannot so they find out exploits and stuff so that it's harder for hackers to jailbreaks so I just don't send that. So now I've set my phone up as a new phone it's not from a backup or anything like that that's the key thing here. Now if right now it says no service it's gonna take a second here to activate so while it's doing that you want to go to here and get Absna and I will have this in the description. Now if you're on Windows 7 or Windows Vista, this is also key too. You just don't want to click run, you want to right click and you want to click run as administrator because that will cause errors too when you're trying to jailbreak it. What you do is just run as administrator and just click yes to run it. Okay, now it's going to come up here and it just says, please make a backup of your device before using this tool. We don't expect any issues, but we are responsible if anything happens. Now it's going to detect if you have an iPhone 4S or an iPad and what version you're on. And right there it says, I have an iPhone 4S with iOS 5.0.1, 9A405. And then it says, click button to begin. And as you see here, my phone is activated, so you can go ahead and do this now. And just click jailbreak. 
Now right here where it stopped, that's where a lot of people have been having a problem. It's just been sitting there and I waited for 30 minutes and it wasn't doing anything. Now it's actually going past that point. Once it gets past there, you're going to see it says restore in progress and it's going to reboot your phone. Yeah, as you see here on the screen, it says waiting for reboot. Not done yet. Not unplugged your device yet. So now it's going to do this here and start it up. Now when you get it to here, it will say preparing for jailbreak data. You're going to slide to unlock and you're going to go and find the abs in the icon. Now click on that. Now you want it to show this loading right there. Now, as you see here, it's just on. It will finally go here and it's now gonna show Aptina is now setting things up. And as you see here, it's just sitting here and it says almost done. Just unlock the screen if necessary, then tap the jailbreak icon to finish. And so as you can kind of see here, it's not really doing anything. So if you um, have this problem, what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna exit out by pressing the home button and you're just gonna go and click back in and do it again. Now this time, it actually is getting ready to reboot. And this is what's gonna be finishing the jailbreak. Now it's rebooting. And here it's gonna say plug in your iPhone 4S or iPad 2. And that's just because it's rebooting and so it can't detect it right now, but that's, that's okay, that's normal. Okay, now when this boots up fully here, um, you're gonna slide to unlock. And instead of seeing the abs in the icon you're going to now see Cydia and now you have fully jailbreaking your iPhone or iPad 2 iPhone 4 now you've fully jailbroken your iPhone 4s or iPad 2 now this is an untethered jailbreak so you do not need to have this plugged in and use the program every time and then just to note on Absna you do not need to put in DFU mode or anything like that and just once again as a note if you're having a problem with it freezing where it says beginning jailbreak this may take a while it shouldn't take 10 minutes to even get past that loading spot it should only take like no more than a minute. If it takes longer than that, then it's obviously freezing and something's like wrong with your files or something like that. I have no idea exactly. So you're gonna wanna do my first step and do a full factory restore and do not restore from a backup after you do the factory restore because it's just gonna cause the same problems again. Now, once you've gotten this fully jailbroken like it is now, you can then go and restore from a backup and get all your stuff. And then also if you're having a problem with photos not showing up, it's because it's not fully jailbroken yet and you, you probably won't see the Cydia icon so that means that you just need to go and go back into Absinthe on here and finish with the jailbreak. If you're still experiencing some problems then just continue with the jailbreak and make sure you've made a backup then you can restore from that backup. Like I'm going to do here and just click continue and then you'll restore and get all your files back or if you're having an issue with your camera roll not showing your pictures even after it's fully jailbroken your iPhone, then you'll need to do this restore. Make sure, like I said, you backed up before because if you didn't, then you're kind of screwed without all your pictures and stuff like that. And then once it's done restoring, you'll get all your pictures and stuff. Or if you still have the abs and the icon, like I said before, make sure that you go back into it and finish with the jailbreak and then your pictures should show up. But if it doesn't, then just do restore from backup. Hope that all helps. And this is how to do uh, untethered jailbreak for the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 on 5.0 or 5.0.1. If you have any other questions, just let me know, post comments, and I will do my best to help. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.